Okay, we're on. Hey guys, it's New York Dan here. How's everyone doing today? Well, I am doing a repair again on my teeth. That cavity, cervical cavity, right by the base of my tooth, the damn filling fell out. Yeah, you may have seen me put the filling in here on this very channel. This is Lifehack Official Channel, Official One. Lifehack Official One. If you can even find the channel, if you're watching this, you found it. Congratulations. Um, this channel is like more of a reference channel. It's become... I am over on my other channel, New York Dan, doing a lot of the social stuff that I used to post on this channel. But what I'm doing with this channel, it's going to be like stuff like this. The tooth repair, health related stuff. That's a that's the whole point of this channel. I'm not here to stage a video. I'm not here to try to get a million views. Okay, I'm not. That's not what this channel's about. This channel is about reference, and I'm doing complicated stuff here. And this is stuff I do myself on my own body. I'm not. Um, I don't assume any liability for anything people do. This is like, I have to say, it's for entertainment only. Today I'm doing a tooth repair. I'm not a real dentist. I do not have any training as a dentist, okay? I don't. Uh, other than what I learned myself on the internet, and I do have experience because I did some tooth repairs before, which I posted, it's on this channel, right? Where I mix this thing up. Okay, this is the cement part. Now, yeah, somebody, I just got back on the channel. Some A guy was saying, or a lady was saying that um, my last video, I put jazz music in the background because I thought it would give you a little entertainment if I go slow on some of the video, you know. They didn't like the music. They said it would be better if I had left that off. Probably. And now that I think about it, maybe... I actually went back and watched my own video to remember how to do this. It's been a couple years now, right? I couldn't remember all the stuff I looked up and how to do this. So I'm like, you know what? I can just watch my own video and figure it out. And while I watched it, I found, or as I'm going through all this, I found my instruction sheet here for the glass ionomer. I wanted to talk about this and do a video update. This stuff is called Prime Dent. There's a couple others out there. One was called Micron Superior. I believe the Micron Superior is made in like India. You can find this stuff on eBay. Now, I don't know how good it is. I haven't tried it. This stuff was made in USA. I said that on my other video. That's why I wanted to go with this. There's another one called Fuji, which is supposed to be pretty good. I believe it's made in Japan. You have that Fuji film, right? You have Mount Fuji. It might be good stuff. If anyone knows, add to the add to the content by putting down a comment. Don't be afraid to comment. I'm not here to um, prove anything or to make, uh, you know, you can put an honest comment, whatever you want. That's not what this channel is about. It's just like a reference. So if someone knows information, they leave a comment, that's going to help everyone else that's like watching this. I don't get paid for this. It's all free. You know, this is a real tiny channel. And unfortunately with YouTube, the fact is you could have like, um, you could have like a miracle cure for something. You could know what you're talking about and have a really good bit of advice. Show people something amazing. Guess what? If you're not a medical doctor, you don't have the credentials, you will not get any views. They blackball this stuff. I think it's done with AI. Even if you say certain words or whatever, it cuts your video. I made that video up last time on this channel with that drink, that cocktail I made up that had, 
you know, take it with a grain of salt. I explained the logic about it when I made the video, but it had like properties that could possibly help put like the big C at bay or it's controversial. There's a, uh, ingredient, a thing that it's from peach pits and different things called lot liatril. If I didn't butcher that and it was a big, it's a controversial thing. You can look it up online and it was banned by the FDA, but they, you could get it in Mexico actually. And anyway, if you look at my cocktail video, you'll see it sounds absurd though. That I agree. You make a cocktail that you say that it has like properties to fight the big C. Yeah, it, it sounds a little out there, but you gotta take it you gotta take it with a grain of salt. I'm just doing this based on things that I find it may or may not be beneficial. That's you know, it's like for entertainment only, you gotta take you gotta think for yourself on some of this stuff. This is what I got right here. Prime dent and I'm using the restorative. In the other video, I mixed it with the cement powder a bit to try to make it a little whiter. Well, it turns out down by the gum line there, my tooth is kind of darker anyway. So I'm just going to go with this, the original mixture of this restorative. And yeah, when I do this, I'm using like this one I showed in my other video. It's like a plastic pick. And you know where I got this from? Actually, it was from CVS. And this came with one of those temporary filling kits you can buy. That stuff isn't really that good. It's like some kind of like almost like clay. But this tool is good because it's plastic and it won't stick maybe as much to the ionomer like a metal tool would. It comes with this little tiny, like, this is like one of those spoons you might have seen, like, on Superfly that these guys would take, like, cocaine and they would, they sniff it up their nose. I don't recommend doing that. Don't do that. Especially not with this kind of powder. Or for that matter, any powder. Those guys are nuts. They're absolutely crazy. If you ever saw the movie Superfly. It's craziness. You don't want to get involved with that stuff. Forget about it. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I was going to go over some of the instructions on this, on how, to, how this is mixed up. Because guess what, guys? I'm doing this for myself because I'm about to mix this up. I want to have this all straight, right? I have my mic on because I'm... A, it, if you don't have the mic, if you're away from your camera, your phone, it's not going to pick it up as much. I'm going to go over these instructions. Oh, yeah, I wanted to tell you a story, too, a quick one about this topic. One of my friends had one of these cervical cavities right by the base of the tooth, right? What happens is they, when you brush your teeth... They, some people say it's from like having a hard toothbrush. If you brush too vigorously with the toothpaste, toothpaste has like an abrasive in it. That's how it cleans your teeth, whatever it may be. The powder in, in the paste, like a silica or a baking soda, that's an abrasive. So if you're too aggressive at the base of the tooth, sometimes the enamel is real thin or it wears away. When the enamel wears away, you can actually wear away your tooth by brushing it. And it depends on your genetics too, like how good your gum line is, how well your teeth are protected along the gum line. But of course, as you age, you know, that that's one of the things that happens. Your teeth like wear away or they, they get worse and worse, unfortunately. Now, the good news is, I'm going all over the place today, but I did hear that they have a breakthrough where they think they might be able to regrow your teeth doing some kind of genetic, um, like a gene therapy type 
amazing technology thing. And what it does, it's, it shuts down some kind of a thing that prevents your gums from growing a tooth. Because remember, when you were a kid, <clears throat> your body actually grew teeth. When your teeth were formed, when you were a baby, you didn't have teeth. And they grew in. So there's a way genetically that your body can grow a tooth. They said this might be available by like 2030, I believe was the date. So we're talking about like five years from now. So let's knock on wood here and hope that this stuff keeps going. Hope this keeps the teeth in your mouth for another few years or in my mouth. Then I can regrow teeth. What do you think of that? Right? So, okay. So back to my friend that had, he had the same kind of cavity I had. The same kind of problem. This is unbelievable. I am right on the damn money. He went to a professional dentist, a real dentist. And the dentist said, okay, I can fill that cavity. I can fix that. And what he did is, this is the problem which I'm afraid of. He has the drill, right? And he he drills out around where this thing is, which, you know, it's common sense. If you have like a erosion or whatever and you drill that area out, you're making it even worse. But here's the problem. These dentists, they use a different kind of, they call the restorative or a filling material, right? They use a composite type. And the way it works is I think what they what they have to do is drill kind of like a um, what you would call like a mushroom type hole. They have to make it kind of mushroom it in so that when they put the filling material in there, it it will stay in place. It will be stuck in there, right? Now, granted, the type that I used, this is the exact problem. The filling did fall out. This stuff is supposed to bond to your tooth enamel or your tooth material. And it's kind of what's called biomimetic. It mimics nature. It mimics the original structure of your tooth. The good part about this stuff, it has a lot of fluoride in it naturally, the way that it's made. And the fluoride will actually tr help kill whatever cavity you're fixing if there's anything um, going on on that tooth. The thing is, so you got to, I said this in my other video, you got to check, make sure the tooth enamel or the dentin is, is somewhat solid. You know, I have a little pick, a scraper that I'm going to, I already checked it. It seems all right, but. I definitely want to fix this before it gets any worse because just by eroding away, even if it's not a cavity, you don't want to keep eroding away that area of your tooth, especially, you know, when I brush with the toothpaste, I'm eroding it away if it's already messed up there. So um, the thing is, okay, so the guy, my friend went to the real dentist. He did the repair. He, I think he numbed him up or whatever and... uh he had to use the drill a bit probably to make it like so the filling will lock in place and clean. They also, these dentists are obsessed with cleaning out like all the, if there's any material that's not perfect. Now, I am speculating on some of this, but this is my hunch. The dentin material, when they do a filling, they want to get out anything that they think is not like rock solid. Okay, that's the old thinking. The new way of thinking, if you go to a biomimetic dentist, someone that's willing to do this stuff is you could leave some of that material, even if it's not perfect. Instead of drilling out so much, you seal it and that will remineralize after it's sealed up. I actually went to one of those kind of dentists and I had a laser tooth repair um, there's a laser machine called BioLase, and unfortunately, it's not that popular because it's so expensive. 
instead of a drill, it uses a laser to kind of drill out your cavity. And it's much, I think it's gentler on the tooth. It uses a laser with water. So I had that done and the dentist said, well, we could leave in if there's some material that's like messed up, we can leave that in there. And we're just going to seal it in with the filling material. And he also put in like a reinforcement, some fibers into the filling. Because the composite fillings are not quite as strong as the old, they call them an algamum. It's a amalgamum. Amalgamum, if I'm not butchering it. It's a mercury. The problem is it has a little mercury in it. It's a silver-based filling. And it's metal. It's metallic. That's what they used to use. Now they don't want to. They don't want to play with that because it's all. Uh, it's all about like the mercury can leach out of it, or they're worried about it. But those fillings apparently were much sturdier, or they they didn't like um, fall out or break as much as the composite would. Also, I think the composite fillings shrink over time. Hopefully this stuff, this might be better because it maybe it doesn't shrink. The composite is like almost like an epoxy. Like you would, um, like you saw in my other video, I made an artificial tooth with this epoxy. And this is like water repair epoxy. I actually use that on my boat for repairing stuff. This... Um, is kind of like the composite. But what they do is they actually have a type that cures under UV light. They have that gun they put on it with the light. Now the thing is, yeah, what I was saying, this prime dent or whatever, this glass ionomer stuff, you probably won't find too many dentists using it because the whole problem is this takes a while to set up. I re-watched my old video and I was saying it takes like two hours. You're not supposed to eat. The tooth has, it has to set up on your tooth. And what you do is you put Vaseline over the repair to keep it from getting wet. You want to try to keep your um, saliva off the filling until it um, sets up. But at the same token, when you put this stuff against your tooth, they say you want the area to be dry, but you don't want it to be bone dry. So what I'm thinking is just to use a cotton ball to dry it out and this is cheap you can get a whole bag of these uh, they're in like if you're a guy i'm going to tell you where to find this you go to where the women's makeup aisle is and the women use this for makeup a lot of times they these cotton balls so you get cotton balls and i also i'm going to use those to keep saliva away from the repair while i'm working on it you got to stick the stuff in your mouth. It's real tricky. And you only have a couple minutes to work with this stuff before it hardens up. I explained in my other video, I went over the exact timetable. I just watched it and I took notes and I told, I'm like, okay, you got to mix it up in this amount of time. Okay, it's going to turn rubbery in this amount of time. I went over the whole thing, which was good. Um, this time I'm not going to put music when I, um, I'm doing this video, but... What I'm doing is I'm just going over the instructions that I may not have fully covered in the other video. And the other mystery I have, which I'm going to find out, this stuff expired. It sucks. It expired in 2021. I can't believe it was that damn long ago. I must have done this, this cavity. That filling might have been in there for like five years or something, actually. It might be a lot longer than I thought it lasted. I just hope this stuff's still good. The, the um, hardener or the part you mix it with, the good part is it's still liquid in here. This hasn't dried up. And I've kept it in a um, climate-controlled area, you know, keep keep it in a good spot that you're not going to have a problem with it being too hot or too cold. I don't think they want you to refrigerate it either. Okay, so here's the directions. Let me just tell you guys, in case you um, are curious about this, the recommended procedure, 
Now, it says here, first of all, recommended indications, restore restoration of primary teeth, core buildup, restorations of class 3, 5, and limited 1 cavities. Okay, being that I didn't go to dental school, I'm not exactly <laughs> sure what, what those are. It's how severe the cavities are, right? Contraindications, contran constraints, in other words, right? I'm dumbing it down, right? Pulp capping, and number two, in rare cases, the product may cause sensitivity to some persons. If such reactions are experienced, discontinued use and refer to a physician. Great. That probably scared the the uh, crap out of me when I first did this. And uh, luckily, I've already done it, so I, I know that I'm okay here. Pulp capping, I think that's when they do like a root canal and they they drill the middle of your tooth out where the, ro the root material is and that's like soft. And then they uh, put a filling over that. But most of the time, the damn dentist put a... Um, well, that's probably the pulp capping. They have to put a tooth cap over the root canal, which is messed up. So they drill away a lot of your tooth when you have a root canal done, unfortunately. It's like you really want to avoid that if possible because the tooth is dead then. And that's why when the biomimetic dentist I did that repair on my molar because... Some dentists were telling me I need a root canal on that. They What they do is say, look at the x-ray, and if the cavity is too close to the nerve, they're like, oh, I don't want to um, uh, fill that. I want to do a root canal or something. It's tricky because once you do that, then the tooth's dead. Okay, that, you know what? I'm really disorganized with my with my spiel here, but you get, if you watch the whole video, you'll get everything. That's the the gist of it and i'm not trying to sell you on my uh you know my channel or whatever this is just reference my friend who had the same problem he went to the dentist he drilled it out like i was saying probably to uh, make sure his restorative the composite thing will stay in there right he filled it and he thought he thought everything was great Right, my friend was happy to have it fixed or whatever. Unfortunately, what happened was a few days later or whatnot, they you know they numb him up or they give him some shot when they work on him, so he can't really tell. A few days later, he was getting a bad pain in that tooth. He went back to the dentist. Right, the dentist said, "I forgot to tell you, there's a risk that this could happen." Because those are very close, it's very thin material there. They're close to the nerve. Oh, it could cause a problem. Your tooth could get messed up from having that repair done. We are going to have to do a root canal on it now. That's why that's why I that's originally why I did this in the first place was because I was afraid of that happening. I'm like, let me just see. When I heard about this, I'm like, this might be the an the answer. Um, these things, they're called like a no drill repair. It's it's tricky stuff, though. I mean, the thing is also, if you have a cavity, if you have an infection in there, you got to really kill that off before you um, seal it to a point. It's got to be clean. So th these are some of the problems. So yeah, my friend who went to a real dentist, he had to have the damn root canal done on that tooth. So now there's hardly anything left of his tooth. They ground down the top and they probably put a cap on it. I got to ask him about that and see when I hang out with him. Actually, I'm going to ask him about that because I think I'm, gonna me I'm meeting him for dinner tonight. See what it see what they the solution was what did they actually do what does tooth look like maybe he'll show it 
show it to me how it got repaired. But that I know though it's not it's not good. Once you have that done, the tooth is essentially a dead tooth. Okay, so recommended procedure. Here's the thing. Here's the deal. Prepare tooth cavity and base as required. Clean and dry the enamel and dentin. The dentin is the tooth material underneath the enamel. But do not desiccate, which means completely dry out. Okay, this part here, I don't know if I said this in my other video. Shake powder. The powder bottle. Shake powder to uniformly blend the special the special powders. And I hope that this powder is not like... Uh, no, I see it in there. I put the cap on tight. You know, that would, that would bite. This stuff... I really should order new stuff. You know, I'll have to do an update video later or I'll leave in the comments what happened here if this worked okay because it did expire but you know if it's sealed if it's a powder that's sealed i don't think the powder will go bad the other part that's a liquid that that might be an issue but yeah for whatever reason they want you to shake this shake bottle to uniformly blend spe the special powders Okay, then dispense one full scoop onto the mixing pad. They give you a really cool thing. They give you this little um this little paper pad, but it's a special like waxed paper or glossy paper, almost like photo paper, that this stuff will not stick to for mixing it. Okay. So you take the little crack spoon they give you, and I think it's like a 0.15 cc is the dose of the powder. You level off the top. Okay, you put that onto the one full scoop of powder. You put it on the mixing pad. Dispense two drops of the liquid Um, hold dropper vertically when you dispense it directly upside down like this and you can just get the watch the drops come out. This is like a pool. If you guys ever had a swimming pool, you used to have a test kit with pool chemicals and it would be the same kind of dropper bottle. You would put a certain amount of drops in the water sample and it would change color. Same kind of thing. Okay, it says incorporate the powder into the liquid in small increments. Total mixing time should not exceed 30 seconds. That's pretty quick. Then you apply it. They said you could use a syringe um, if you want to like squirt the thing in. But I, you got to mix up a lot more of it than this little amount to use a syringe probably. I might have to do a bigger amount. I'm not ah, one scoop should do it with this this little cavity thing area. Placement of the restorative should be done immediately. Oh, I'm probably I notice I block my own mic if I put my hand there. I apologize. I was noticed that on my New York Dan video. It should be placed immediately while mix is still glossy, approximately one and a half to two minutes of working time. If the mix becomes dull, it should be discarded and a new mixture pre prepared. If longer working time is needed, mix the restoration on a cold mixing pad. So you could probably put that like into the freezer or something. But I wouldn't... Um, I think it's good. It depends what you're actually repairing. But the good thing is, like if you're doing something that's vertical, you don't necessarily want it to take too long to set up. Initial time setting time is 5 minutes 30 seconds from the start of mixing. Once set, remove matrix. The matrix is basically like... Uh, 
a form or wax paper or something to keep the um, stuff in the right shape. I was able to kind of do this without the matrix. I just kind of put it on and I um, patted it down. There's another trick to this too. I heard that I've done this before. I got to get them ready. You can use a Q-tip that's damp to kind of help shape it, a wet Q-tip or damp Q-tip. Okay, it says, once set, remove matrix, a thin layer of restorative varnish is recommended but not required. Keep restoration free of saliva or water for five minutes. Now it says 24 hours after placement, finish and polish the restoration under water spray using standard techniques. So um, that's the problem why you're not going to find dentists really using this system. I don't know if they have one of these glass ionomers that cures with UV light. That's like fast cure. But here's the whole problem. You go to the dentist. They want to have you in and out of there. The, with the UV light, the composite thing, as soon as that cures, it's like instantly with that light, they can then shape it with their drill or their tools. They can polish it. They can adjust it. And then they're, it's done and you're out the door. This stuff, people, if your dentist is like, well, I'm going to put the thing in today and then uh, we'll have to wait a day and then come back and I'll shape it. I'll do some more on it in a day or two. That's the catch. Let's see. Excess prime then should be removed with a cotton roll immediately before it sets. Restorative should be cleaned from all areas, surrounding areas, before final set. Store between 64 and 77 degrees. You see, I was right. Yeah, you don't want to put it in the refrigerator or whatever. So, um, yeah, this, I imagine the instructions are pretty much the same for that. Um, what is that damn thing called? The other crazy one they sell, the, in, the one in India. I just said it before. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I... I said it in the beginning of the video. It's a it's a different name. It's the same thing, glass ionomer restorative. And the Fuji one. I remember the Fuji one, like Mao Fuji. The other one I can't think of now. But yeah, there's ones on eBay and I believe they're they're a very low price. It's amazingly low priced. So yeah, I'm going to get busy. I'm going to try to clean the air, you know, clean the area. Also, use like um, Listerine to sanitize your mouth, like rinse with that first. You want to, the whole thing is you want to keep this clean. What you're filling in, you want it to be super clean when you put this on. And you want it to stick. It actually will fuse to your enamel. It's supposed to stick to it. Fingers crossed, guys. I'll leave in the comments um, how this goes. And I, if I talk to my friend, I'll see how his his tooth repair came out. What the deal is with that. After he, if he had to have a root canal done, I'll let you know, guys know. All right, guys. Hey, I'll tell you what. Subscribe to the channel. Um, it's absolutely for free. You got nothing to lose because this channel is very hard to find. And that way, if I do a video, you might find it useful. Who knows? Um, I don't do, I'm not doing videos as much on this channel. Every once in a while, you'll see me come put one out. That's why you should subscribe to it. It's not like I'm going to be, um, beeping your phone every day with a new video or whatever if you put the notification on probably very rarely uh only when i'm doing this for myself with my health and it's the same thing i have another obscure channel ben's products b-e-n-z 
And that one, I have some Mercedes diesel and it's like a hobby channel. Anytime I'm working on my Mercedes, oh, I got to not cover the mic. I put it on that channel so that people can see it. It's like reference and it's repairs. So that channel is another one of these like reference channels. So if if I'm actually doing a repair on my vehicles, it goes there. If I'm doing some kind of health related thing or I find out something that I'm taking, a supplement, what, things I'm experimenting with, I put them here. And yeah, I had put a video up about that. There was some kind of life extension uh, supplement that was like an amino acid. This was like cutting edge like last year. The only problem is I found if I take it, it was causing me to have like some uh, intestinal pain, like cramping or whatever from it. So I was going to experiment with that, like adjust the dosage a little bit. That's something maybe I'll try in the winter. I haven't been taking that. These supplements, I try them, and if I don't see a result, I I kind of like try not to take too many things. That guy on YouTube, you guys probably know, uh, Brian Johnson, he's like trying to extend his life, and he's taking it to the extreme. He went on a reduced calorie diet. He's doing all this strange medical stuff. Pretty crazy. But the key is to find the stuff that actually works, the stuff that's actually beneficial, and not be like chained down, taking like, you know, a hundred pills or whatever. That's like insanity. Him and there's another weird another character on YouTube, Dave Asprey or Dave Asprey. If you've heard of these guys, see he has those like uh yellow glasses he wears for the blocks UV light or whatever. But these guys, they have a lot of extreme stuff. The thing is, I want to know what stuff actually works. I don't want to have to um, watch a video that's, he's talking about some experimental supplement or whatnot for life extension, but they... You know, if they talk studies and all this stuff, at the end of the day, you're you're left guessing. How is this actually working? Does it work? So I try to, if I take anything, I'll share it on this channel, and I'll I'll let you know what happens with me. But yeah, I'll go over. Sometime I should really go over the supplements that I'm taking. Just do a video on that. So anyway. I'm going to attempt this stuff here and hope for the best, fingers crossed. Otherwise, I'll have to go to a real dentist. And nobody likes doing that. All right, guys, it's New York Dan. I will see you in the next one.